Good morning. Uh, I'm Sheriff Terry Langley, uh, Carroll County Sheriff. Uh, this morning we had a uh, very horrific incident that happened here in Carroll County. It started with a traffic stop on Interstate 20 by the Georgia State Patrol. A chase ensued into Carrollton and up 61 to not very far from this location. During the course of that chase, gunshots were fired by the suspects, firing first on the state patrol, uh, later on other officers. Uh, at this time, one suspect is dead, one suspect is in custody, and three officers have been wounded. One of those officers is a Carroll County deputy, uh, Jay Rapetto of our agency. He is at Atlanta Medical Center with a gunshot wound to the arm. We also have here Police Chief uh, Joel Richards and Police Chief Mike Mansour. Each one of them also had an officer that was wounded in this uh, event. Um, first, we want to send our prayers out to all the families involved, to those officers that were shot and for their speedy recovery and that the doctors would do what they need to do to make sure they get the attention they need. Um, also, I want to thank so many agencies that came out here to Carroll County for us to make sure that we had all the help we needed. We had, of course, uh, Georgia State Patrol Aviation and SWAT came out motor carrier group from State Patrol, Coweta Sheriff's Office, Paulden County Sheriff's Office, Douglas County Sheriff's Office, Douglas County uh, Police Department, thanks to, and, and Harrelson County as well. And I'm sure there's agencies that I left out that came uh, to us. There's not a whole lot more that we can tell because this is an ongoing investigation. The GBI has been called in since this is a officer involved shooting uh, to investigate the rest of it uh, but we're thankful today that it could have been a lot worse and we're thankful and we pray for the speedy recovery of, of those officers to start off to tell a little bit about when the chase started we have with us captain dawson from the georgia state patrol it would uh, one of his officers that made the initial traffic stop and then the chase ensued. Captain Dawson. Thank you, Sheriff. Again, I'm Captain Brandon Dawson. I'm the Troop D commander for this area. Uh, early this morning at about 3.30, we had a post four Villarica trooper that was checking speeders on I-20 when he checked a Nissan passenger car at 111 miles an hour. He conducted a traffic stop. The vehicle did stop and on approach to the car, the driver and his passenger fled the scene, initiating a pursuit. The trooper followed behind with his emergency equipment on. He did conduct and attempted to, to terminate the pursuit with a pit maneuver. Uh, the pit maneuver was successful. However, the driver was able to regain control of his car and continue to run. His passenger, uh, used a rifle and shot at the trooper's patrol car, actually striking it and disabling it. Therefore, he was out of the chase after that point. Uh, lost contact. All this was uh, passed along to the local agencies where Carrollton PD, I believe, picked it up next. And I'm going to turn it over to uh, Chief Richardson, Richards with Carrollton PD to follow up on that end. Thank you. I'm Joel Richards, the police chief for the city of Carrollton. When the vehicle came through the city, officers continued the pursuit up 61 toward Villarica. At some point, a pastor leaned out the window and fired rounds into the officer's vehicle, striking Sergeant Rob Holloway, who at that point, the other officers stopped because he lost control and struck a utility pole. They stopped to render aid. Uh, he was flown to a hospital in Atlanta where he's undergoing surgery right now. Uh, he's been with our department since 2008. We just want to ask the community to continue to pray for him, all the officers involved, and their families. The vehicle then went towards the city of Villarica, and I'll turn it over to Police Chief Michael Mansour from Villarica PD. 
Michael Mansour from Villarica Police Department. Uh, our officers became involved uh, right down the road up here. Uh, suspects uh, went down a side road. Officers uh, were pursuing them. Uh, suspects did uh, fire rounds at our officers, uh, struck the patrol car. Uh, one of our officers, uh, Chase Gordy, was struck uh, twice uh, by the suspect. Uh, he has been transported to Grady Hospital. Uh, we're, we're waiting uh, an update on him at this time. Uh, as uh, the sheriff said, our thoughts and prayers with the officers, with their families at this time. Uh, and there'll be a follow-up uh, news conference uh, later on, I'm sure. Uh, GBI is investigating uh, the incident, and uh, I think we're going to have an update from uh, GBI agent now. Before the GBI comes, let me make one statement. There has been some reports that there was still a suspect at large. There is not. All people involved are uh, in custody, and so there are no suspects at large. The, the scene is completely safe, and the area is completely safe at this time. Good morning. I'm Jeremy Dawkins. I'm the assistant special agent in charge of the Georgia Grove Investigation Region 2 Field Office. We've been requested by all agencies involved to work an independent and thorough investigation on the officer involved shooting, as well as the aggravated assault against the officers. Uh, once we have additional information, we will be providing that later today under press release, but right now we're just gathering facts. Uh, once our investigation is complete, we will be turning that over and consulting with the Coweta Judicial Circuit District Attorney's Office. The, sh the shooting is under investigation. We have no way of knowing. So we'll, the GBI will report on the investigation as that, that is com uh, complete as well. So thank you for your patience. I uh, wish we could tell more, but it's still a very active scene, very much ongoing. Two suspects. Our deputy with the Carroll County Sheriff's Office is Jay Repetto, J A Y. P E T I T O. Is that right? Let me see. J Repetto, yeah. Correct. They took him into custody after a, a negotiation and found him somewhere and brought him in. And he is in the Carroll County Jail. Yes. Thank y'all.